So most people think that if you follow a disciplined lifestyle, exercise regularly, go to sleep at the right time, eat nutritious food, you will never have health problems. This is mm, wrong because you are missing one major factor here, stress. So today in this video we will try to understand and decode the science behind stress and along the way try to figure out what we can do to battle and reduce that stress because believe it or not stress is one of the most problematic things in your life. It can give you so many health problems including a heart attack. I'm not meaning to scare you but that will keep you hooked till the end of the video. So let's start. Stress is a natural physical and mental response to life situations or experiences. For example, say you are stuck in a traffic jam and you are late to something very very important. Now as the minutes stick by you will start to get stressed. Now what is actually happening in your body is a response called the fight or flight response is being triggered. Now how does this happen actually? See when a situation like this is perceived the uh, hypothalamus in your brain which is like a command center activates the fight or flight syndrome by releasing the stress hormones which are adrenaline and cortisol so what this does is first it increases your heart rate second it makes you breathe faster to get more oxygen third it diverts more blood to the muscles and fourth it increases your blood pressure and it diverts more oxygen to your brain so that you can be more alert. Your senses are sharpened and you're ready for action. So basically uh, the fight or flight syndrome was evolved as a survival mechanism. Say a car is coming at you at in full, in full speed. Now before you even see or recognize what is going on, the fight or flight syndrome will have you out of the way of the car. That is what the uh, mechanism was evolved for. But nowadays, even the smallest of things trigger this response. Like the traffic jam. It is not really a life-threatening situation, but it is still triggering the fight or flight syndrome. So now, how do we battle this? See, the problem comes when the stress re receptors don't stop firing. That is, if you keep getting stressed day after day after day, the adrenaline and cortisol levels in your body never go down. Because of this, there are adverse effects to your health. Now, let me try to explain in a bit more detail. A little bit of stress can actually be beneficial for your health. As I mentioned, it can help you cope with some potentially serious situations. But when out of moderation, it can be very problematic for you. See, in a normal situation, after the perceived threat is gone, the hypothalamus should tell all the systems to go back to normal. Like, the stressor is gone, now just relax, chill. But this normally does not happen because the stressor doesn't really go and you just keep getting stressed. Because of this, the level of the stress hormones don't reduce in your body. So what you have to learn to do is put the brake on the stress response or the fight or flight response. Now, there are a few ways to do this. First of all, yoga, obviously. How? Because see, yoga can help you relax the tensed muscles and bring your heart rate back to normal, bring your breathing, breath rate back to normal. So eventually it is going against the stress response, contradicting it and stopping it. Second, if you're in a situation where you're starting to get stressed, Try to do some deep breaths, once again contradicting the stress response, bringing your heart rate back to normal and everything. So this also reduces stress. Third, a very good, uh, what can I say, a very good way to reduce stress is try to focus your mind on something that calms you down. A word, a person, a situation, a, a song or uh, a photo, a picture, anything that calms you down immediately. Try to focus on that as you calm your body back down from the stress response. You just have to put the brake. That's it. And your body can do the rest. Now, other, uh, other ideas to battle your stress response is doing daily exercise, which follows from the yoga thing. Same thing. It again battles the stress response in ways that you don't know. 
like it releases dopamine in your body which can defeat adrenaline in simple words obviously and uh, social support another great way to battle stress is social support like get your friends together talk to them have fun with them have fun with your family and you'll slowly slowly see that your stress response is going down and last but not the least is just stop worrying about whatever is stressing you out say take the traffic jam exa- uh, traffic jam example once again you cannot do anything about the traffic jam so by worrying about it there is no use at all it would not make the traffic jam just dis- disappear so instead of worrying about it just try to stop that will stop the stress response from triggering at all which will keep you well happy so basically stress is the only thing that stands in between you and your goals fitness goals life goals every goal and you do not know how much better you can perform if you just get rid of your stress it can improve your productivity and make you much much better so uh, we put in a lot of effort in our videos and i think that deserves a like share and subscribe so we'll see you in our next video